Hi guys, Gaffer here. Um, I'm just doing a little tutorial slash troubleshooting guide for the SFZ player by Cakewalk. You can go on their website, uh, you can pick this up for free. It's just a sound font player. Um, basically, I was having a, a little bit of a problem with it when I first got it. Um, it's actually it's really easy to fix, but um, no one's given answers on forums and stuff, so I figured I'd just do this quick video. Um, so I've got it all installed and everything, so I'm just going to open it up here. Uh, and this is basically what you'll start off with. Um, so you can load in a sound font here just by clicking the file thing. Uh, it's already gone to my sound fonts folder because I've opened it before. So, so for example, I'll open this SF2 file, and you might get this error: there's not enough memory to load the selected sound font. So all you need to do is come over to this button here, the SF32, and switch that to PR32, which I think means program 32-bit maybe. Uh, I don't know, it's just an assumption. So basically when I come to open the file now, it works. Um, and I think it's called program 32-bit uh, because it loads in a program of instruments. So you can cycle through the instruments in this sound font. Um, if I go back to the file, however, if I go in my sound, my other, my SFZ files here, um, these are single instruments. Uh, so if I log in one of these, if I load in one of these, uh, it reverts back to SF32 because it's a single instrument. And as you can see here on the program section, you can't cycle through. So yeah, if you have that out of memory thing, switch this to PR32 and it should solve your problem. It did for me. Um, so yeah, I hope that helps guys and have fun composing. Oh yes.